everyone, we're here at La Ofrenda in Oaxaca, Mexico. My name's Cami, I'm a bartender, distiller, and provide mezcal tours. I love doing mezcal tasting. And today, we're going to try Edgar Gonzalez's mezcal tosca. So today's tasting, we have espadín, pechuga, and morach. This espadín from the Sierra Norte of Oaxaca took 10 years to reach maturation because of its tropical environment. 75% of all mezcals are made from espadín. For its ease in cultivation, its high sugar content, and it only takes seven years on average to reach maturity. Let's see if we can taste some of those notes. Grounded during the whole process. Once that is in your mouth and once when, when it's up. Let's see your father and also there's a return. I like it. I really, yeah, like I really, on the exhale. Yeah. So now we'll be tasting the pechuga. But what is pechuga? Pechuga is a mezcal that has been distilled with added ingredients like meats, fruits, maybe nuts, rice, and sometimes even mole. Each mezcalero with its own recipe and traditionally made for special occasions. This pechuga is made with turkeys from the ranch, tropical fruits from the Sierra Norte that have been added on the second distillation. Let's see if we can taste some of those notes. Taste is really brutal. That is, that is how pechuga is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I find a lot of taste of the banana, a little bit of plum, mm -hmm. apple. So last up, we'll be tasting the warash. Warash in Zapotec means local agave. This is an extremely rare and unique mezcal that only comes from this part of the Sierra Norte. So let's taste it and see what we can find out. Round. You can, uh, I think that it gives 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 more taste. Give, that adds more flavor. Citrus again, a little bit dry. Definitely dry. It's making me salivate because it's almost tannic, like a very dry wine. Mm -hmm. You can feel green actually, like a like the plant the flavor of the plant. So after tasting all of these delicious mezcals, it is really difficult to choose a favorite, but I'm going to say the pechuga. It is so smooth and almost chewy, but there is no best mezcal. The best mezcal is the one that you enjoy. So let's take this to the streets and see what locals have to say. <laughs> Esta? Esta es la tercera. ¿Cuál te gustó más? ¿Esta te gustó más? Yes, I'm going to say this is between the both of them, but then my taste buds might have been shot to bits by now. But I still say the first one is my favorite. Mi favorito. Mi favorito. Yo creo que este. Which one do you like the most? The second one. The second one? Yeah. Which one was the second? Pechuga. Pechuga? Pechuga. Yes, for me too. What did you think? What was your favorite? This one, I think. The first one? The first one. I like the last one, this one. I like this one. Today, simply because these 
other two are just too special to throw into a cocktail. Today we'll be making what's similar to a daiquiri or Tommy's margarita. And I chose this drink because it's easy to make up. So we're gonna start by adding piloncillo simple syrup. Piloncillo is a local brown sugar. We'll then add lime juice. This is fresh lime juice, three quarters of an ounce. Two ounces of espadi. Next, we add ice. And shake. It's important to shake so that you see the cold on the outside. So you drink, you know your drink is well diluted. Straight it into our glass here. Add our garnish. And there you have it. Our custom cocktail made with ice buddy. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, as Mezcal Melate Club members, you can participate in this conversation by rating the mezcals yourself using the link below. So I'm Kimmy, and I hope you enjoy your journey into mezcals.